Hi everyone, this is Chris Wagner from YSA, our Youth Service America. If you're watching this video, this means you are either a new member of the Community Partner Program or you've been with YSA for some time. want to welcome you to the video today, no matter how long you've been with us. Um, we want to do a couple of things in this video today. Uh, the first is take you a little bit uh, you know, through the website where you can find the Community Partner Program. Um, then want to take you to the, we're going to look at the newsletter that's going to be coming your way soon. Also want to take a look at and show you how to log in to the Community Partner Learning Center and access the grant station there. And also give you a quick tour of the uh, resources and templates and tools we have uh, shared in the learning community. So to get started, um, basically I've started, I'm here at YSA.org. And first thing I want you to look at, if you don't know about it already, is if you look at our About page and you go down to Partners here. A little summary about Partners, our National and Global Partner Program, and then our Community Partner Program. So click here to see a little bit more about the program. It gives you a nice little introduction. Um, you can also download this photo here and share it on your Facebook or social media. It's a cool picture. Um, but here are the benefits of the program. So if you haven't been here in a while, this is a great place to look at because we've, re we've redone this. Um, a good you know, summary here of the benefits of the program, um, the requirements, which you know, the only real requirement um, for the program is to do a Global Youth Service Day project. And our current status is, uh, actually this is closer to 500 community partners now in 85 countries, so we'll be updating that soon. And the thing that I would ask everyone to do is find your country, make sure you're listed here, and that the hyperlink is the correct hyperlink. And if it's not, to send me an email, cwagner at ysa.org, you should all have my email address, and let me know what the, what the issue is, um, and we'll get it fixed as soon as we can. This is a great page to ysa.org backslash about backslash partners backslash community partner. If you want to link, uh, link, you know, um, fundraising emails, looking for partners, um, listing it on the site, anything that where you want to make sure someone knows that you're an official partner of YSA, this is a great page to link to. So the first thing I want to do, the next thing I want to do, is I want us to look at the newsletter that's going to be coming your way soon, um, and um, just kind of get just do a quick overview of it, and so we can look at it. So this is going to February 2017. I have a little welcome note here. Notes from the field. Um, here is um, basically a way that you can log in to the community partner learning community. Um, we're going to have a webinar next, this coming Friday. I'm doing one at 7 a.m. Eastern Standard Time and then one at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time this Friday, the 17th. Um, and I'm going to basically do a lot of what I'm doing in the video here, going over the program, um, showing you how to access the uh, Learning Center, how to access GrantStation. But tune in. I'll have, cover a few other things, and we'll also take time for questions in each... Um, issue of the Community Partner Newsletter. Again, this is something you're going to be getting once a month, and our goal is to get one out each month, even after GYSD. So um, in this newsletter, we are always going to have some type of um, updates on notes. Um, we're going to you know, have some great stories about young people, not just from the U.S., but globally, who are working in youth development, youth leadership. We're always going to include a few grants that we've come across that are global, not just to in the U.S., but are global. And then we're going to have a partner spotlight, which is where we want to highlight um, a resource or toolkit or a partner who has some type of grant opportunity or program opportunity or tool that our community partners can use. Let me just say now, too, you know, one of our big goals of the community partner program, of course, is to do Global Youth Service Day and to um, have as many people and as many organizations, um, you know, participate in Global Youth Service Day as possible. But our other goal is to help you guys develop your capacity however we can and based on whatever needs you have. 
So Grant Station, Global Giving, the newsletter here, the learning community, these are all partners or platforms that we're sharing what we learn and what we know from our vast partner network. Um, this is going to be updated. This is some social media sharing that um, we'd like you to do. Um, coming up here. It's going to be the kickoff to GYSD. So again, these are going to be different. Um, but one thing I will include in each newsletter is one infographic where it's just asking you, you know, every once in a while to reach out to other organizations in your community, um, either through the social media or just even sending them an email, sending them the link to the community partner program. You know, our goal is to um, uh, build the, the largest program that we can um, and, you know, the more we build it, the more, the better it is, the more opportunities we have to share it with potential funders. So, again, if there are partners, other youth organizations in your community that um, you think would be, would benefit from the community partner program, please send them a link. Send me their email. I'm happy to send them an email introducing them to the program and the benefits. Okay, so this is the newsletter that everyone should be getting once a month. The next thing I want us to look at is, mm, let's go ahead and look at this now. So in the newsletter, and I'm also going to send it in an email, and you're also going to find it in the learning community, is the Global Youth Service Day Community Partner Toolkit for this year. And I just want to kind of quickly just go through it um, um, page by page a little bit. So basically this year, you know, we've organized a toolkit into eight steps based on the best practices and examples YSA has learned from our collaboration with young people and adults who believe in youth-led service. Um, yeah, shrink this a little bit. So it, I'm just going to quickly go through the steps. So step one is be a champion for youth in your community. Step two is to learn about the global goals. Step three is to plan and take action on a, a issue in your community, and that can be either through an awareness project, a service project, an advocacy project, or the philanthropy project. Um, more resources from YSA that you can look at. Um, questions to ask yourself as you're building your project. Also, wanting people to understand that Global Youth Service Day really is what you make of it. We don't put any um, restrictions on, you know, a Global Youth Service Day project can be three people um, working on a letter writing campaign, or it can be 50 people um, going out and cleaning a park. It's, it, the, the program, its issue area, its community issue, its focus is up to you and the needs and the in your community and the motivation of the young people you work with. Global Youth Service Day doesn't have to be a service project also, so that's what this page is about. It can either be a celebration event or it can be an, a recognition event too. So a time that you can celebrate um, and recognize the achievements of youth in your program or in your broader community, um, the, the year-long contributions they've made to the community. You know, it can be anything like this. Global Youth Service Day can be part of your regular April youth programming. Um, again, we don't ask you for that doesn't have it can have a big budget. It can have no budget. Global Youth Service Day is really here for you to link whatever you're doing with the global campaign that's going on so that young people are connected and know of other young people all over the world also working to improve their communities on that day. Step four is register your project. The map is now up, so if you go to gysd.org, you can register your map today. Also, all of the community partners are listed on the map, so if you do not see your organization on the map, again, send me an email and we will fix that. Step five is to spread the word about GYSD, so a little information on different ways to write blogs, um, social media content. We've got the logos here, um, all this good stuff. And then how to leverage your GYSD activities. Again, this is a chance for you to be linked into a world event. Um, it's uh, You're an official partner of GYSD and YSA. Um, so basically, how do you use that to find more partners, find new funding, um, really build up some content on your social media platforms? We've got a lot of good ideas and examples of how organizations have used GYSD and leveraged it. We've also provided um, two different letters here in two different formats. And so basically the first letter is from YSA that you can send to anyone that recognizes you as a 
uh, YSA community partner. Um, in both letter templates, we've included the reference to Youth Service America, and we've included a template without a reference to Youth Service America. So whatever fits your needs, whatever is going to be better accepted, um, that's why we offer the two different examples. And then the second letter template is basically a, a letter from you that you can change and personalize and add to. Um, or you can simply fill in the blanks and um, and send it to whoever you want to send it to. Again, two different formats, one, in, one with reference to YSA and one without. Step, let's see, the last two steps is step seven. We want to make sure on Global Youth Service Day that you're inviting community leaders, businesses, um, other youth organizations, you know, you know, think big. You know, basically the idea is this is, again, a, an opportunity that you're a partner, an official partner in. How can you leverage um, what you're doing on GYSD? And who are you going to invite to Global Youth, your Global Youth Service Day activities so they can see what you're about, what you're doing, um, what your mission is, how you're working with youth? Um, so make sure you take advantage of that opportunity. And then the last step here is we would like you to report on the impact of your Global Youth Service Day project. And so everyone that registers a project, and then of course, I'll be sending the link to everyone, to the community partners as a whole. Once we have that, um, that impact report up, make sure you fill that out. That just really helps us uh, measure the scale, scope, and impact of GYSD. So this is the Community Partner Toolkit. Um, again, um, you're going to be able to download it from the newsletter that's coming your way. Um, you're also going to be able to download it from the learning community. And I will be sure that in some of the emails I send out in the lead up to GYSD, of course, I'm going to go ahead and include it there too. Um, check it out. Feel free to share it with other partners in your other organizations in your network, other partners. Um, again, feel free to share this when you're reaching out maybe to other community partners or other organizations about the community partner program. You know, show them what it is, show them the newsletter, show them the benefits, and again, see if you can get them to sign up. All right. Next place I want us to look at is the community partner learning community. And to get there, let's just start from YSA.org. So get to the learning uh, the YSA Global <laughs> Community Partner, sorry, Learning Community, you're going to want to go to YSA.org, right up there, and then head on over to Resources. And when you click on Resources, this is going to take you to the YSA Learning Center. And basically, this is where you can download any of the, um, um, the, the resources that we have, free as PDFs. We're starting to add trainings that you can take. Um, uh, so all of our print resources, our training materials, our education materials, most anything that we have, you can download from this site. The only tricky part is, is that you've got to log in, okay? Now, let me take a second here to talk to everyone. Um, if you are an organization that registered since November when we relaunched the Community Partner Program, you're going to receive an email um, with a password. And basically, once you log in the first time, you're going to change uh, that password to um, your own private password. If you are already a community partner before November, um, then you should be able to use your email um, and you should already have a password. If you don't have a password, then just click here at Forgot Password and it should be able to email one to you. If none of that works, you know, if you tried the password you thought you had, if you hit Forgot Password, though it's not working for you, then send me an email and um, I will check it out for you and I'll get you set up as, as soon as we can. Okay, so um, again, if you are applied since the 1st of November to the Community Partner Program, go ahead and um, the, in the email you have received from us, you should have a password. And once you use that password, you'll create a new password. 
if you've been a community partner for, you know, since before November, you should already have a password. If for some reason it's not working or you forgot it, just use the forget password here, link here. And if it's still not working for you, send me an email. Okay, so let's say, okay, Chris, I have my password. We're good to go. So go ahead and click login. And once you're in here, I do totally look around, check out, you know, everything, the toolkits we have here. We have toolkits in different languages, with resources and trainings. Here's the GYSD map, how, how it now looks. Um, we have a lot of different types of uh, resources here. Um, to get to your learning community, I want you to go over here to learning. No, I'm sorry. You want to go over here to connect, and you want to click all communities. Now, this will give you a list of all the communities you belong in. Most of you are only going to belong to the YSA community, partner community. But some of you might also be a lead agency. You might have been a Sodexo grantee right now. Um, so there are a lot of different types of communities, different um, people, and how they work with YSA there are. Um, but the one that we want to look at, the one that we're going to pay attention to, is the YSA community partners. Now, you're going to see GYSD community partners here. If for some reason you're still linked to that, that's the old one. Don't go there. Go to the YSA community partners program. And I'm going to see if I can get that GYSD one deleted, but uh, or hidden at least. But go ahead and go to YSA community partners and click that. Now, only the so basically only the person who registered to be a community partner, um, and if they listed a CEO or president, only these two people from your organization have access to the learning community. However, if there's someone else in your organization that you'd like for them to have access to this, and if for some reason you feel uncomfortable sharing your email and password with them, um, send me an email and send me their email address and I'll add them and give them a password. But really, if there are other people in your organization that you want them to have access to the learning community, just feel free to share your email and your password. Um, but if, again, if you want them to have their own separate login, email me, happy to do it. Okay, so once you get here, um, it's all fairly self-explanatory. Um, the first thing I wanna show you is how do you get in GrantStation? So basically, once you're here, if you click here, you're ready to go. You're in GrantStation. And all you need to hear, hit here is click here for full membership access. So you're going to click here and you're in. Okay, you don't need to log in or anything. You have full access to everything. So you can immediately start to search for um, grants. So I just hit search. I scroll down. Here's international uh, grants, Canadian grants, search terms. Um, so you're able to get started immediately and start looking for grants. If you go over here to topics, here we're going to see um, basically these different folders and in these folders are all of the resources, templates, logos, toolkits associated with the program. So in the first fo folder, communications and social media tools, check it out with the storytelling template, if it's sample email pitch and press release template. Um, we have some great advice on how to um, set up a profile and crowdfund on global giving. Definitely check out this, the, this uh, blog I did rather recently um, on global giving. Um, and uh, actually it's featured in the newsletter too. Uh, here's a uh, participation certificate so you can download this. It downloads it in a PowerPoint format so you can change you can customize the GYSD certificate to your needs. Photo release form. Here we have a community partner discussion board and I will come on here every couple of days and answer questions and post different things. So this is a great way to share ideas, post questions, connect with your fellow community partners. Like I said, here's the community partner toolkit. You can download at any time. Um, again, here's access to GrantStation. And, well, basically, this grant station here is a YouTube link, and this will basically take you to a video that uh, me and Ellen put together from GrantStation on how to navigate GrantStation. So definitely check it out. 
it's almost an hour long, but she goes through so much good stuff. She goes through how to how to search for grants, best practices and tips, and then really goes through the resources and trainings they have um, that really help you develop as a grant writer, that help you develop a grant writing strategy, a grant making strategy. So a lot of good resources and capacity building opportunities through the tutorials and education pieces they have there. Same with um, Global Giving. Um, Global Giving, again, has what's called the Accelerator Program. And there is a video and a blog uh, um, that Michael Gale and I from Global Giving put together um, that uh, goes through how to best practices on putting together a Global Giving campaign. Um, a lot of good information there. Last two folders, the first one here, logos, so all of YSA and GYSD logos. If there's a logo that you're looking for that we don't have, let me know. I'll get it uploaded. And then the YSA community partner uh, capacity building resources. So these are some resources that we've put together in the last year or two um, that, um, um, and we'll be adding to this, that that basically are examples from organizations just like you guys. Um, some of you... Some of you on listening to this video may actually have contributed to these resources. And so basically they're real life, real organization resources from organizations that are small to medium size um, that have, you know, you know, solid budgets and no budget. Um, basically a lot of good cool, uh, tips and best practices on how to engage youth, how to engage youth in youth led readership and um um, how to build your capacity, you know, all the way from programming down to building your partner in, and uh, partner network down to, you know, finding money and funding for your programs, um, etc. Okay, so that takes me through the major goals I had for this video today. Um, again, keep a lookout for in the next newsletter for more videos. Uh, send me an email if there's something that you would really like uh, us to um, do maybe a video or some kind of resource on as you plan your Global Youth Service Day project. And again, just a reminder, um, the Community Partner Program is put together not only for what happens on Global Youth Service Day, but for what happens after Global Youth Service Day. And so, of course, your job and my job doesn't end on April 23rd. You know, we're both um, looking and trying to strengthen our organization, strengthen our programs, and share what we know with each other to help each other um, build capacity string, uh, and strengthen capacity. So again, um, take uh, get into the Community Learning Center, check it out, look around, um, uh, make some friends, and um, again, if you have something to contribute that you think other community partners could benefit from, Obviously, you know, share it in the in the learning community here, but send me an email and I'll try to get it out in the newsletter too. Thanks for watching. Um, again, my name is Chris Wagner. Send me an email at C Wagner, that's C W A G N E R at YSA.org. If you have any questions or any problems uh, logging in to the community center, or if you don't see your name up on the community partner uh, organization list, anything like that, let me know. All best. Bye.